Shears with another demo recording tutorial. Now if you're like me, you're probably excited for the TF2 64-bit update, at least until you realize that it broke Loena and Half-Life Advance effects. Thanks to members of the community, uh, we've been able to update those tools with our own branches, but I found Loena to be newly buggy and inconsistent. Working with this community branch of Loena was just so glitchy, it just wasn't worth it to record with Loena anymore. So I began to look at different options. And I found this workflow, which I think is more efficient and more flexible than anything I've used before. So that's what I want to share with you today. For the basic workflow I'm covering today, we'll need to download Half-Life Advanced Effects, which we may have used for smooths in the past, Millier Recording Tool, FFmpeg, and Sparkly Effects. I've linked to each of these in the description. One thing that's important to note before we get going is that this tutorial assumes you have an events file, an events.txt file, using the in-game demo recording system. It should look something like this. We got bookmarks in this format, because that's what Meliase uses to generate VDM files. More on that in a bit. Uh, if you don't have a file like this, that's also cool. There are some tools uh, that Millie has to scan your demos and generate uh, an events file from that, but I won't be covering those in this tutorial specifically. So we're just going to grab the zip files for each of these. Just go to ffmpeg.org, download. I'm using Windows, Windows from GAN. The essentials package should be more than enough. And we'll extract them wherever we can find it. And we're not in your TF folder. Personally, I have a dedicated folder for all of my TF2 editing stuff, which I like to dump things in. I have a Melier folder already from a previous version of it. So I put my new version of the software in here and we'll go through the setup. Uh, I don't want any documents. I'm going to change that to this folder. Yes. That should run Melier. So what does Melier actually do? Melier generates VDM files for each of the demos from your bookmarks file that it reads, which are just information about the demos. And then Sparkly takes those and uses that to actually record and encode a video from those demos. As you can see, it's reading our events file already. So if you use the in-game demo recording system and use a bookmark key or use the killstreaks, Melee will automatically read those and generate a set of ticks. As far as our settings, we want to select sparkly effects since that's the recorder we'll be using. Um, you can also use source video recorder as an option. It's theoretically simpler to set up, but I could not get it to work on my machine. So uh, proceed at your own risk with that. Sparkly effects is a little more complicated, but it's a much more robust tool. And if you're here, you might have use for it. There's some basic uh, recording settings. Do you want a crosshair on your screen? Do you want your HUD displaying in game? Stuff like that. So all these settings are what will be written in the VDM file by Melier to tell sparkly effects when to record. Ticks before bookmarks, um, one second is about 66 ticks. So it's a little more than 15 seconds. 
these defaults are pretty good in my opinion. Uh, you got your field of view settings, you got your view model field of view, make sure automatically record next demo is on and then hit save. And that'll take you back to the main menu. So once you're satisfied with all your settings here in the settings menu, whether it's through an events file or through using one of Millie's other methods, you should have some moments for Millie to record showing up in this area. And from there, you hit run to generate your .vdm files. Should this show display something here, created 16 VDMs with 24 events, and it saves a copy of your events.txt file to whatever your location is for that. So next, uh, we're gonna make sure those VDMs are in the correct folder. Melier automatically puts these VDM files it creates wherever your events.txt file is saved. So sometimes that might be your TF folder. Sometimes that might be your TF slash demos folder like me. If you are like me and have your events.txt file in the slash demos folder, just make sure whatever demo files you want to record and the VDM files uh, that Millier generates get copied or moved over into your main TF folder. You can check this easily by sorting by type. So I've got all my VDMs that I want to record and all the demos that I want to record and a bunch of old ones that aren't relevant to this video. So our next step is to get Half-Life Advanced Effects set up with Sparkly Effects. So you should have Sparkly Effects extracted into its own folder. It should look something like this. Open up Half-Life Advanced Effects. And we're gonna to go to the Custom Loader. Uh, looks like this carried over my settings from my previous install of HLE, which is great. These are good default settings. If you're an advanced user, you can like mess around with these. If you're like run ultra wide, you may want to change the resolution. This is width and height, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're an average user, you can just ignore. The important part of this page is the DLL to inject. Uh, right now we've got AFX hook source, which allows us to make smooths. We're just going to delete that for now since I could not get sparkly effects and AFX hook source running simultaneously. You're going to want to hit browse and find your sparkly effects folder. So I'm going to navigate to that. And since HLE is still not compatible with 64 bit updates, except for some hacky edge case workarounds. Uh, we're just going to use the non 64 bit, bit version of sparkly effects, which is this one. And you should hit OK. And TF2 will load. So just make sure you have sparkly effects loaded, uh, hit the insert key on your keyboard. If you have a laptop, you may need to hit function insert. And boom, yep, sparkly effects is here. Now to set up sparkly effects, we're gonna to go to the recorder tab. Um, we're going to set our output folder. I'm gonna change this real quick. Uh, there's, there's some options here. I recommend FFmpeg. These options are a good balance of quality, speed, and file size for me. Um, you can go much higher quality if you want, but I find that's not necessary for most YouTube posting. Sparkly FX has a lot of really advanced tools that are really powerful. For now, we're just concerned with the recording tab. And one thing you want to make sure you do is tick off this auto pause demo, uh, I think it's on by default like this. You want to tick that off and make sure auto resume is on. My developer console came up automatically, but if you don't have that, make sure you go to options, advanced, make sure this enable developer console is ticked on. 
apply, and then hit tilde on your keyboard to bring up the screen. So if you have a nice cinema config, uh, something that will automatically set all your settings to high instead of you having to click through these menus and do it all manually, this is the time where you'd want to exec that. Just by exec config, whatever you want. If you don't have a cinema config, that's totally fine. Just use whatever settings you think look good. I just, I'm just using the settings that I play with normally for this tutorial. If you want to make your TF2 look really nice, uh, this is the point in the process to go into your options and do it. Once you're ready to record, type in play demo and the name of the demo you wish to start with chronologically. hit enter and sparkly effects and Melier will take over the rest. So as you can see, uh, the demo is skipping ahead to the bookmark we want to record. Just using our default settings. Uh, and here we go, the demo is recording. Once that bookmark is finished, it skips ahead to the next one. There are two in this demo. And then it'll skip into the next demo. That looks like it's all running as expected. At this point, you can just walk away from your PC until it's done. All right, once Melee and Sparkle Effects are done, the TF2 should close automatically, and you'll, you should see all your recorded clips in the folder you chose. Sure enough, we've got an audio and a video file for each of these. Looks good to me. Uh, just as a note, you will have to recombine the audio and video for each shot in your editing software of choice, although they're the exact same length, so that should not be a big deal. And that's pretty much it. You've got your recorded demos now. I've accumulated a decade of knowledge around frag movie making for TF2 that I'd love to put into a tutorial format to make that knowledge easy to access. Whether that's walking viewers through specific workflows and effects that I've used, or sharing more general knowledge about how to use the wide variety of third-party tools available for TF2. However, it's really hard for me to justify taking the time off work to pursue making these frag movie tutorials. So if you've benefited from this tutorial video or any of my previous ones, please consider buying me a coffee. Your support will make future frag movie and editing tutorial videos possible and help me make sure those videos remain high quality. While we're at it, consider helping support the makers of Melier Recording Tool and Sparkly Effects, who are Maven and Hold On respectively.
That's all. Hope to see you next time.